Welcome back to the Norfolk Southern Sherwood Subdivision and today we're going to work with Smooth It. That would be this product, Smooth It. It's a plaster material from Woodland Scenics. It's normally used to make roadways and what we're making here is the surface of an inland port which is essentially an intermodal yard and the surface would all be concrete. So we're going to use our Smooth It to simulate concrete. Smooth It is combined with water and it's a plaster material and it comes out it is a soupy mixture. And as a soupy mixture it'll get all over the place if you don't do something to prevent that. So the first thing we're going to do is protect the areas where the Smooth It will not be placed. The area where the Smooth It will be placed is right in here. So. We have the adjacent track. I'll put some masking tape over the track. We want it to come right up to the edge of the track, but not over the edge. Press that down. And then, because this is going to run all over the place, we need to protect the areas around it. And we'll do that in the same way by putting some masking tape down. Cut it off to length, put it in place. Tape it down. I didn't do that very well, so we have to do that again. Masking tape is not cooperating today. There, that's better. And we'll do the same on the other side. At this point, you might be wondering about what we're going to do here. Because uh, if you ever used realistic water or things like that, it'll just flow through every crack that you've got, including ones you didn't see. What we've done here, and I don't think you can see it on the camera, is there's a bead of caulk that runs along here. So that'll serve as our barrier along with the fascia that's here. And protect the rear area. these pieces. So by the end of of having done that. We've covered up every area around where we want to put the Smooth It. Now normally you would use Smooth It to make roadways. Roadways would be really thin. Woodland Scenics sells a companion product called Paving Tape which you would use to mark the edge of the roadways. In our case here, we've already poured Smooth It on this section and this section. So we don't need to use the paving tape. What we do need to do is mix up some Smooth It. The area is, you see this uh, gap here, we've got a subroad bed of cork, we've got cork on top of the layout surface, so it's a little bit deep, deeper here than it is around the edges. The uh, Smooth It, being a sort of a self-leveling product, will just flow right into there. So how are we going to mix the Smooth It? Well, the manufacturer says, turn the box upside down and shake it. I don't think that's very effective. So what you're really trying to do is get the lumps out of it. So we have a little bit different method that I would uh, recommend, and it's this. 
First of all, Smooth It, as I said, is a plaster product. As a plaster product, it will absorb moisture. So instead of keeping it in those milk cartons that you saw, I keep mine in an airtight container like this. You can buy these at Walmart, for example. And if you look inside here, you'll see lumps. Well, we don't want lumps on our paving, so we're going to have to do something to eliminate the lumps. And that something will be, we're going to take a page out of baking. When you bake cakes or other such things, it's not unusual to find a requirement to have sifted flour. The objective of which is to get the lumps out of the flour so it doesn't transfer lumps into your back. Well, we're going to do the same thing with smooth. The proportions are one cup of smooth, excuse me, two cups of smooth and one cup of water. So I have here a half cup. We have our kitchen sieve and we're going to sift the smooth like this. Just tap it until it goes through there. See all those lumps? You don't see any lumps in there. This will help us with the mixing process. So I'll just tap the side or shake it to get all those lumps out using the sieve. Alright, so that's a half a cup of smooth. You need to do this three more times. And I realize that's sort of like watching paint dry. So I'll, I'll continue with this and when I have all, all two cups done, we'll come back. We have returned. We now have our two cups of sifted smooth. And we have a container with one cup of water. So we're going to combine these two carefully. This stuff is now like dust. So we dump all that in there. Sorry if I kick the camera. Now we're going to stir it. And you want to give it a good thorough stir. You don't want any lumps. You don't want any air in there. I don't think it really matters what you stir it with. It's not a paint stick. And after you've mixed it, it has about 15 minutes working time. And that's it. And when you get up to the 15 minute mark, you don't want to be doing anything with it. Because it will start to set up and you won't be able to uh, make corrections to things that you may have done that you didn't like. So in that sense, this is like putting ballast down. Once you got the ballast wet, don't mess around with it because you'll make it worse. In this case, smooth it will harden as a plaster. See? Hard. And then you can sand it. So if you have imperfections in the surface, you can easily deal with that. Now, when I put this down here, you will notice that it comes out kind of a gray color. I'm saying it's sort of a gray color. When it dries, it will dry into this white color. And besides, if there are color imperfections, we are going to eventually paint this surface. So that'll take care of that. All right, that's probably enough stirring. I'll clean off our stick here. And to smooth it out, we are going to use this. It's a wallpaper scraper or for uh, drywall. Okay. Do something like this a couple of times until all the spots get filled in. If you were making a road, Woodland Scenics provides a little piece of plastic about like that that you would use. But it's, uh, this is bigger than that surface for using this piece. All right, so all you do is pour it in wherever you need to have it. Enough, but we're going to find out. And use your scraper to just level it out. And now 
you're starting to see why we protected the areas around it, because this stuff is going to get all over the place. And what you're looking for, as the name of the product implies, is a nice smooth surface. So you need to start outside the area that you're smoothing and go completely over it. And if you do like I just did, leave drips on there, you've got to go back and clean those up. All right, so that looks pretty good. See how easy that was? The next step is to clean your utensils. Now remember, this is a plaster product, so it's going to dry hard, and it won't take long to dry. So what you should not do and cannot do is wash these things off in your sink, because you're going to end up with plaster in your sink, you don't want plaster in your sink because it's going to harden and it's going to cause you this gigantic plumbing bill. So, don't do that. I'm going to go outside and wash these off while this is drying. We'll take a break and we'll come back, remove the surroundings from it, and we'll see what it looks like. It takes about 30 minutes to set up, so we'll let it go for 30 minutes and then we'll be right back. Welcome back. About 20 minutes have, or excuse me, 30 minutes have elapsed since we poured our smooth it. So it's set up enough with, that we can remove the um, newspaper around it. And you just remove it. There's nothing hard about it. I'm going to just pull it up. Try to make sure it doesn't get all over the place. see a little bit of the smooth bleeding through. That can be easily sanded away. It won't be an issue. Let's pull this off. Yeah, there you go. That's the surface that we have. Now there might be a, a couple little gaps. You might see a couple here next to the track. There'll be a little ridge here where we connect it to the existing smooth it. But nevertheless, we can deal with all that when we sand it. The other thing, and while we were gone, of course, I did clean up our our uh, instruments in the outside under a, under a garden hose. So that's it for smooth it. We put on a double layer of this. Uh, double layers compared to what the manufacturer recommends. So this is going to take about two days to set so that it can be sanded. And in the meantime, while the two days are going on, do not touch it. Because if you touch it, it will make it worse and you'll have to sand it and fill it in and do other things that you don't really want to do. So that's our video today about Smooth It. I hope you enjoyed that. Well, here's an update for you after we poured all the smooth it, which in the video was this area right here where my hand is. And we had done all the other work, poured the smooth it in sections. Then we got out our sandpaper and sanded it off and we filled in some of the gaps, the little holes that you saw in the video. And at this point, we painted it. Now what I chose was, I'm trying to simulate a concrete surface that's relatively new, so I chose this gray that you're seeing. And what you can see there is about 18 square feet of smooth it, all painted with three coats of gray with my airbrush. And the mixture of paint is uh, two parts white to one part light gray. And I think it came out looking exactly like I wanted it to. So that's the result that you can achieve from doing the work that you saw in the video. by adding a few more details, some containers, a small crane to hoist them around, some containers stored in the back, everyone's favorite, the MyJack Translift crane that goes over the tracks. You can have an intermodal yard, or an inland port in this case, that looks pretty much like this. And if we wait for a moment or so, we might see our first intermodal, intermodal train.
In fact, I hear it coming now. So that's what can be done with a little bit of work, the right materials, the smooth that we talked to, talked about rather, a couple of models like the intermodal crane, which I must admit is the most difficult Walther's kit I've ever made. And you can get an effect like this. So if you like this video and you want to see others of this type, perhaps more operations, more scenery building, more layout building, please consider subscribing to this channel and press the like button if you like the video. So thank you for watching and we'll talk to you on the next video. Bye now.